Um, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple ways we could do this problem. All right, um, I will do it the problem that I taught, you know, this uh, actually, yeah, I'll do, it the I'll do it the way that I taught this class. So ladies and gentlemen, actually, you know what? Let's do it the other way. Okay, so, because I, I, sure, I showed you guys one method, let's go the other. The one method I showed you guys is find out what the common denominator is, right? You have a denominator here, denominator here, and denominator here, and then multiply everything by those common denominators, right? That's the way we taught one of these problems. But I'm going to show you guys a different method, the one thing that we can work on. What we have, ladies and gentlemen, is the subtraction of two rational expressions and then being divided by another rational expression. So what I can do, though, is if I have this as the fraction or a rational expression divided by another rational expression, we learned how to do that, right? Flip and multiply, yes? So what I need to do is I just need to see how can I combine these, right? Well, we've talked about that. We can combine these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that over to the side. I'm going to say I want to combine r plus 6 over r, and I want to subtract 1, 1 over r plus 2. So to do a problem like this, we just need to find the LCM, right? Find the LCM and say, all right, what is the LCM that they both share? Well, the LCM is going to be both denominators, which would be um, r plus 2 times r. Right? So what we need to do is to say, all right, if this is already r, to get it to r plus 2 times r, I need to multiply it by r plus 2. And if this is already r plus 2, and I need to get it to r plus 2 times r, I need to multiply it by r. Right? So then what we do is we multiply across, and we end up getting, um, now here, I can multiply this out. Uh, yeah, let's multiply this out by using um, by using FOIL. So when you guys use FOIL, you are end up going to get an R squared plus 8R plus 12 minus R all over R plus 2 times R. Does everybody agree with that? Yes? OK, and then if I just do 8r times r, I'm end up going to get 7r, right? So therefore, I can rewrite this problem now as r squared plus 7r plus 12 divided by r plus 2 times r divided by r squared plus 4r plus 3 divided by r squared plus 2r. Yes? So what I did is I rewrote this as, instead of subtracting two rational expressions, I rewrote it as one singular rational expression. Now I'm dividing. And we remembered what to do to divide. When dividing, we flip and multiply. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have r squared plus 7r plus 12 divided by r plus 2 times r multiplied by now the reciprocal of my divisor, which would be r squared plus 2r, divided by r squared plus 4r plus 3. Does everybody see that or have any questions on that? Yes, Alex. No? OK. Does everybody see what I did and have an understanding? Yes. Dimitri. This is r plus 2 times r is r squared plus 1. Yes, but I'm going to leave it like this for a reason. I'll explain in just a second. Because I, yeah, I had the, I had the minus r here, which was from there, and then I added that in there. Okay, so now, the reason why, now the reason why I multiplied this through was so that I could combine them, so I could subtract the r, so I get, so I could get it as one singular expression, which is right there. However, I don't want to multiply this out because remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we multiplied and divided rational expressions, we want to, we want to factor as much stuff as possible. So we can cancel, so we can divide out terms, right? So what I want to do now is see, all right, which one of these can I factor? Because now we want to go to our factoring process. So if I would multiply this out, I'd have to refactor it back out. So let's go to, let's just do some problems factoring. OK, is this factorable? Yeah, we could rewrite that. If I wanted to factor that out, I could rewrite it as r plus 3 times r plus 4. Right? This is already factored, r plus 2 times r times, OK, 
Can we factor this out? Yes. R times R plus 2. And then can we factor out the 3? Absolutely. R plus 3 times R plus 1. So now that I've factored everything out and we're multiplying everything, now I just need to see what terms divided by themselves are going to equal 1. Well, we know the R and the R. The R plus 2 divided by R plus 2. R plus 3 divided by R plus 3. And that's going to leave us with a final answer of R plus 4 divided by R plus 1. OK. Ta-da. There you go.